Wednesday, I don't know what day, in August. And I'm gonna take you on a work vlog for this video. Been a while since I did one of these and you guys loved the last one. Check out my last one if you haven't seen it already. Um, I've kind of re, I'm gonna talk about it more when I get to work, but I've like restructured my Depop drops um, to do less frequent but bigger ones. Cause I feel like that's just what suits the world right now. And whenever I kind of rethink something or like, I don't know, I went on holiday as well and that helped. But I just like rethought stuff and I get so excited to kind of do my new idea. So that's what this is. I started styling it already two days ago. Um, so today I'm gonna shoot it and then we'll list it next week. Um, but yeah, you're gonna come to work with me and see what I get up to running my Depop business and also running my own label, which I sell on my website. So check out my Depop and my website as well. The outfit today, this cute little top, it's vintage Miss Selfridge and I just love the detail. Um, and then these capris, which I found in Miami, they're like cropped capris. Um, I was at the thrift and I was like, I really have a feeling about cropped capris. This was in like February. So I bought these and I'm glad I did because I wear them all the time. And my Havianas, because I wear these literally all the time. They're like the slightly platform ones. I wish they did even more platform ones. Um, but yeah, my skin's a little red at the moment because I just iced it because I've got this spot coming through here. But I've really got my skincare routine down, so I'm going to do a video on it. Um, very soon. Also, I curled my hair yesterday. This is looking cute. Okay. Oh, also, I got my smoothie that I made. But banana, pomegranate seeds, strawberry, cucumber, like a peach, some cacao nibs, some peanut butter, and some yogurt. So good. Made it for me and my bestie. And I'm just gonna have that and then head into work. So see you guys there. I got um I've been buying ballet pumps on vintage like crazy. Once I set my mind on something. Ooh, they came in a dust bag. Love that. Oh, I'm excited for these. Yay. I wanted some that are um, like elasticated because I feel like a lot of ballet pumps, you know when they just don't quite fit right? Oh, I love these. They're so cute and simple. Yes, cute. Love the elasticatedness. I don't really go with this outfit, but cute okay it's 10 o'clock i probably should have gotten a little earlier but it's fine i was doing bits at home um probably got 100 things to shoot i've got pilates at one so i gotta get to work i styled all this already so i could just get through it quickly i'm really excited because there's a lot of pieces that i'm really really into especially Shoes. I've done really cute shoes and bags. I just love these ones. They remind me of like Oakley shoes. And then these, which are like the perfect square toe boots. And then you'll see some in the clothes now. So let's get into it. did it I grouped them kind of in terms of style this was so cute I love this one and I feel like I've gone for some quite good transitional summer to autumn pieces like some jackets and some kind of lighter knits as well because I do feel like we've got quite well I hope we've got quite a long amount of summer there I consider September summer and maybe, I mean, October was quite um, quite warm last year, actually. So yeah, I feel like skirts like this are gonna be really good for autumn as well. 
because they look really cute with boots. Like I've done a lot of these with flip flops in this drum, but so cute with boots and um, like little cardigans and stuff. I actually need to source more cardigans because I feel like that's the one thing I always bang on about. I love cardigans. Like this outfit would be cute with a cardigan. They just look cute with everything. Um, but these pieces, I don't think when I'm gonna post this. Oh, this diesel skirt was so nice. With the diesel logo and the raw hem. I feel like someone actually cut that. I feel like it's going to be longer, but it's such a nice thing. Um, all these pieces will be live on my default by the time this video is out. So go and see what's left because you never know how quickly things sell out. This carrot melon top was so cute. With the beading. So pretty. And it's got little like crochet sections as well. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's good to be thinking about how we're gonna transition pieces um, into autumn. Because you wanna be buying stuff that you think you're gonna wear a lot. Also, how nice. This is a bit of me, this top. And it was so flattering on my boobs as well. Um, but yeah, what time is it now? Quarter past 12. So, I've got to get a move on. I kind of thought that I would have shot a bit more, but... Um, I don't know, I just didn't. Sometimes it'd be like that. But I've got time for drops on Thursday. This is part of my thinking of doing bigger but less frequent drops. Oh, this was so cute. I'm trying to not get distracted, but that was so pretty. It's actually 60% silk, but it's like a knitted fabric and it's glittery. Um, but yeah, so that I have more time to focus on styling and curating the drops and just making them like more thoughtful. Um, because when you're trying to pressure yourself to do two or three drops a week, I feel like you don't have that time to spend really thinking about how you want to style everything and how you want to promote it and everything. And it also will mean I'll have more time to do other things within the business. Um, because I'm finding myself doing a lot of work in the evenings, which I don't really want to be doing. I don't feel like that's conducive to you know, coming to work the next day feeling fresh and like full of ideas. Like if you're working until eight or nine, then yeah. So I'm not, I don't want to do that. I don't think that's a good way to work either. So I'm trying to, I need to do this. I haven't actually done it yet. So if I need to do it, this was cute as well. I love the way that it fit. Um, to sit down and write down like what, how, like, how I divide my time in the week, and like, is that the way that I wanna divide my time? What do I wanna spend more time on? What do I wanna spend less time on? And I think it's good to be reflective in that way and kind of just analyze like, how you spend your time, time is money. We've only got so many, so many hours in the week as well. So yeah, I'm gonna finish putting this stuff away. Then I've got a few things to send out, like um, a couple of packages. Then I'm gonna go to Pilates just found some very cute necklaces as well. So I'm gonna shoot these and these will be in the drop. I'm loving like chunky butterfly necklaces at the moment. I think that's so cute, the colors. Okay, we're going to parties. The joy of wearing leggings. To work is that I'm basically already dressed for Pilates and then I just put on a different top. <laughs> God, I'm so tired and it's it's five past four. I'm gonna stay here until, not here on the sofa. <laughs> I'm gonna stay at work until 5.30 um, and then go home and get ready for my bestest birthday. Um, went to Pilates, that was fun. Then I was on my way home and then I, I mean back to work and then I remembered that I had some of the Depop, some of the team from Depop coming to visit me so I was like, fuck, I've got to get back. So I got back, had a really good meeting with um, them just discussing Depop and, you know, all that stuff. 
And then it was like 3.30 and I hadn't eaten and I thought I was literally going to pass out. And I think that's why I feel so tired now. So don't have a late lunch when you're working. Also, this um, cushion makes it look like it's the hair for my armpits. Um, so now I have a few things to package. And I've got a bunch of other stuff to do, but that's a priority. Because tears away. I need to package anything that needs to be sent out imminently. And then, yeah, so let's go to my other studio and uh, my brain's not working. Find those items, package them, and then see how much time I have left. So my current situation at the moment. Uh, I just wanna stay here all day. Do you know what, when the others aren't at work, I, um, harder to stay motivated but i'm not gonna stay on the sofa and the problem is that the sofa is so comfortable i love it here and now that i've got these cushions as well it's so cozy but yeah no okay let's go let's go work right now got the keys got my g-pop lanyard let's go Oh, it looks good in here. Tia's just organized. Looking very good. This is where we keep all the designs. And this is where we keep all our list of vintage. Yeah, it's a lot. So now we've got to find some bits. Some of these might be a little hard to find. So pray for me. They're taking photos. I need to find this t-shirt that someone bought in our sale that is from my old studio, so definitely from a long time ago. Sometimes I get really, I like don't really do this this much anymore because here does all the packaging. But if I ever have to package, sometimes I'll get really lucky and the thing that I'm looking for is right at the top. And then I feel very blessed. But sometimes that's not the case. And you end up looking for ages and ages. I found a little bait t-shirt. Okay, while I'm here, we recently did a sale on our depot. Um, and there's some things that Tia couldn't find. So I'm going to have a look for them. For her. Okay, these three. Okay, that's a skirt and two dresses. Yeah, it mostly seems to be skirts and dresses. Okay, I found one more of the missing items. This is a really cute dress. I love this one. It's got like a milkmaid bust. Okay, now I gotta do a couple of pieces from my designs. So we're sending some pieces to some amazing influencers. I have recently gotten more into gifting and I love it. It's so fun because like, I don't know, you just get to see people that you love wearing your stuff. And I always let people like choose what they want. So they choose pieces that they're really excited to receive as well. So that's good. I've gotten really good at telling what size things are just by feeling them. Could that be a medium? Yeah. items and I've just got to print the labels and stuff. Um, these are our cute, sorry the braids are noisy. Oh, these are our cute mailing bags. We just redesigned them. So if you've ordered from us recently, you will notice. They're very cute. I just thought it would be cute to do baby blue so that there's a colour that you can look out for. Well, not that box, but you know what I mean. Okay, it's the end of the day. I'm starting... I was about to say I'm starting to feel tired, but I've literally been talking about how I feel tired all day. Um, my desk is messy at the moment. I'm going home in like 20 minutes. And a good practice 
is to tidy your desk at the end of the day because there's nothing worse than coming back to work the next week and it's dirty or messy. It just starts the week off wrong. So I'm gonna do myself a favor, tidy my desk and then go home and get ready. done the last thing that i need to do which is very important is go through my to-do list i write one every single day i need to tick off what i did which is yeah not as much as i had hoped but i still did all the essentials that i needed to do um and then what i do is i write my to-do list for the next working day because I know what I need to do right now, but when I wake up, I might have forgotten. So it's really good to do that as well. So I'm gonna do that now and then call it a day. Good morning, it's Tuesday and I'm so happy because one of my favorite brands, Borsi and Iris, sent me this. And I love it so much. I've loved this brand for a really long time and always wanted something from them and i'm so happy because they sent me this also my boobs look i never wear a bra my boobs look huge i think the top is helping a lot but i might cut it a bit because it's got a raw hand which maybe is intentional so that you can trim it to the length that you want but i think i just have it like that um but i love it so much like Look at those ruffles. And I'm just gassed that it's made my boobs so bigger. Um, anyway, that's not what I'm wearing today. I think that would be a little much for work, but I just thought I'd show you because I'm so happy. Also, my lips are looking crusty. Let me put some lip balm on. The goat lip balm, Laneige. Okay, I'm gonna put on my actual outfit now. I actually need to go to work in a sec. Okay, back to regular programming and my boobs looking normal. Today I'm wearing this little cami top which was part of my Depop stock. One of the many examples of Depop stock that I decided to keep. I probably say that in every single video but it's true. This cardigan it's vintage Benetton and I got it from Past Trash. I love a micro cardi me. I actually did a run of these like I made or got made some kind of super crop cardigans and matching cami tops and like knitted ones ages ago. And I've been thinking a lot about bringing them back, but I had to make them quite expensive because they're really expensive to make. And then I've got um, my new peachy dog trousers, which I just bought, which are like skirt over trousers vibe. And they're like long slinky ones. And then I'm just gonna wear my classic platform sandals. Um, busy day at work today because um, I've got to shoot more for the drop, receive um, the Uber from the factory with the purple pieces that we dropped on the website last week, purple brandy skirt, purple capris and the purple um, brandy top, crop top. Mm. Emails, some packaging because tears away still. Um, so yeah, busy day today. Um, just having my lemon water. I said blue today. And um, then I'll head to work. So Ray has been redoing our website. So this is our new website, which we're very happy with. We added this bit here with some product drawings. And then this bit of like influencers and Pink Panthers wearing our stuff. And um, at the moment, Ray's just working on adding color options as well. Um, do we have an example of that? Nothing cute enough. To Nothing cute that. enough. We'll show you when it's ready. But um, so that you can go on a listing and then see what other colors we have in that design as well. So yeah, Ray's been working on this. And yeah, this is how it's looking for now. I just picked up two purses from the main room. I got some ballet pants on 
And I forgot, I think I bought like four pairs. I always do this with different. Pair number one. Little snakeskin ones, and I like the green trim on them. Okay, that's the first pair. Ooh, I got some um, plain black ones with like this thing and a little heel, because all mine are really flat and I thought it'd be nice to have some with a heel as well. suggested to me on Vinted and I couldn't believe it because they're so perfect and I actually thought about buying some new from this place and I'm glad I didn't I'll try them on but look they're so cute and you can take this ribbon out as well and just have them as normal ones okay so it's the end of the day and I thought I would show you some of my favorite pieces that I shot today um, some of these you saw yesterday because I was just filming a little reel going through some pieces. But, um, first of all, I'm actually crazy for not keeping these. They're beautiful but they're, and they're my size, they're 39, so UK 6. Just gonna just my trousers. Um, but yeah, they'll be included. And then some of my favourite pieces that I shot today, I'm going to make a TikTok talk. I'm gonna make a video talking about it on TikTok, but like um, 90s minimalism, just loving it at the moment. So just simple tank tops. I've been really into simple outfits. And this piece also, this is like a 90s rave brand, um, but just like a really simple ribbed white, like tank dress, so pretty. Um, also these, which look really cute together. So this is just some, um, they're like navy slash black, cargo trouser which I it looks like you can make them ruched I think you can make them ruched that's cool and I styled them with this little Ralph Lauren t-shirt because to me oh, that would have been good to put in oh well to me like simple 90s outfits a cropped pair of cargoes and a like baby tee is so cute also I've probably been banging on about these I can't remember if I've mentioned it yet but like probably I have cropped trackies and these are such a kid uh i can't speak at the end of the day these are a really cute um color kind of purpley dusky purple this dress i thought was really interesting i think it's yeah it's jane norman let's see sometimes on jane norman care labels you can see the year that it was made but they only did it up this is 2010 Oh, that's such a bummer. I thought this would be way more vintage than that. To be fair, it kind of makes sense. But yeah, if you own anything from Jane Norman, check the care label because sometimes you'll find stuff from like 99 or 2000, it's very cool. But this like beautiful kind of fancy club vibes, jersey dress with like studding and ruffles. Then this is one of my favorite pieces. It's like a rave wear um, top and it ties at the back, it's nylon. It's like a bralette. I don't know why I just don't really like the word bralette. These, which I really wanted to keep because I'm such a sucker for A, vintage like workout leggings and B, cropped leggings. So this was kind of all in, all tied into one, vintage Nike ones. And they've got this lilac stripe on the side. More cropped cargoes. This pair's like a baggy men's pair. Really, really like these. They look really cute with like feminine shoes and a feminine top. A slogan tee. This one says, I'm a slow learner. So cute. Um, and then this Puma Asim. I just put, <laughs> I just put that in my mouth by Asim. It's got an asymmetric zip, so the zip doesn't sit quite in the middle, which is pretty cool. And then it says Puma like asymmetrically there as well. I really wanted to keep this, but I have like a real problem with keeping track jackets. Like I always keep them and I never wear them. 
Um, so, yeah, I also found, I showed you some of the jewellery yesterday, but I don't think I showed you, or last week, whenever it was, I don't think I showed you this one. So beautiful beaded, and it's like a proper choker. So wear it like that. So, yeah, Ray and I had a really good day. She made me a new um, YouTube intro and outro as well, which you'll probably be seeing in this video, or at least the intro you will that she's done for the week now. She works on Mondays and Tuesdays. So she, I don't think she finished the outro, so that'll be on my next video. Um, but yeah, we had a really nice day actually, and we went um, and sat outside for lunch. I had leftover pizza. These are probably details that you don't really care about that much. Um, but yeah, and then I had a nice visitor at work as well. So yeah, it's been a good day. Tomorrow's a Wednesday, Tia's back from her holiday. So lots to catch up on with her work-wise, but also gossiping-wise. And um, yeah, I've got Pilates now, so I'm gonna tidy up, because I'm sticking to my tidy up before I leave work thing, because honestly, I came in this morning and my desk was looking so beautiful. So I definitely wanna try and do that every day. Um, but yeah, I'm actually in a really good mood. I'm feeling very productive and like doing these drops um, every couple of weeks or so just gives me more space to like, I just don't feel like I'm like ramming it down people's throats. I feel like I like have time to like make like take nice photos of everything and like style it more intentionally and curate it more and like do more of a build up on socials and hopefully give people time to like think about what pieces they want to buy so that people's shopping is more intentional as well because I want people to buy things that they love and will wear loads. So the, I feel like the more care that goes into it on my end hopefully makes people love the clothes even more as well. So this seems to be working well for me. We'll see how the drop actually goes because I haven't even done it yet, but Thursday will be the day. Uh, the stuff arrived from the factory as well. So me and Tia will go through that tomorrow. I don't usually do quality control, but I'm gonna help her tomorrow because she's got a lot of stuff to do. So yeah, a good day. Going home feeling good. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for probably the last day, mm, the ultimate day of this vlog. Good morning, it's Wednesday. I put salt spray in my hair because I like how it looks on holiday. But I'm not really sure that it looks as good not on holiday. Anyway, my outfit today, I left my work phone at work last night, which I'm really proud of myself for, and it just meant that I was not thinking about work at all. It was so nice. Ended up spending like an hour and a half on the phone to Asal, my bestie, big, big debrief for the weekend. My outfit today is this top that was supposed to be in the Depop drop that I decided to keep because it just fits so nicely. I love it. Mew Mew bag with a little ballet pump keychain. Jeans, you guys know these jeans. And then these which match my keychain that I got on Vintage yesterday, you guys saw them. So, oh yeah, and I wore these into work as well. They're just DKMY. Sonny's. So this was the fit. Um, Tia's back today, so that's exciting. Gonna have a big meeting about um, our Depop strategy, send out all the orders from the drop that we did last week on the website, and then start listing for the Depop drop tomorrow. So it should be a good day. Um, because I left my phone here last night, I haven't checked Instagram or TikTok, so I'm gonna do that all right now and see how all my posts did from yesterday also. This is my favorite breakfast ever. One YouTube video, one vlog, I literally spent about 30 minutes explaining my breakfast, but peach, raspberry, pomegranate seeds are my favorite, cacao nibs, flaxseed, and Greek yogurt. Every single day, Depend like different fruit, but yeah. And also my new water bottle, it's a brain dead. NTS Club and they choose.
It's almost six. Um, I'm going for dinner at my friend's house. I need to go to a wine shop, get a nice bottle of wine. I'm very into, because I'm a true East London girl. <laughs> I love fizzy red. So I'm gonna go get a fizzy red for us to have um, with dinner. But today was another really good day. I finished shooting everything for the drop, so tomorrow I've just got a bit more promo to do. Tear package everything, which is really exciting because I'm so excited for everyone to get their orders because the last drop that we did on my website, I love those pieces so much and I want to see people in them. Maybe some people in Carnival, who knows. So yeah, very excited for that and I'm really excited for the drop tomorrow. Um, yeah, all the pieces that you've seen that I've been like modeling for Depop will be available on my Depop by the time this video is out, so go and check it out. My Depop username is Bella Brana, if you didn't know. And yeah, thank you for watching this little vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you in the next one.